Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Arizona Sunshine Remake Overview. I wonder if it's gonna be the same situation in VR as with Pancake, where you have some sort of an age of remakes where developers are bringing or rehashing the same content, updating things and making them appropriate to the technology. Arizona is the first one, so maybe along the way we'll be seeing more. So Arizona Sunshine Remake is a refreshed version of the original horror arcade game, where once again you find yourself in the Grand Canyon state, armed with whatever you'll find along the way, and navigate yourself through horde of zombies in search for survivors. I did play one time the prequel on the channel. The video launched way later it released on the platform and with the reasoning that I wasn't necessarily interested nor convinced about the mechanics, gameplay, pretty much everything across the board. Now that we have a remake version, the situation is just a little bit different meaning the game looks and performs better with some refreshed variety of zombie models, but still a little bit lower on the quality side. I was fully convinced since the sequel of the series didn't really release that long time ago. The developers will transfer some assets or certain things to the remake. However, it seems like it did not happen at all and the overall spirit and ambience was pretty much kept from the prequel. I wouldn't necessarily jump the gun to say that it's some next level mechanics cause there are still certain stuff that feel a little bit old school and are rather annoying to deal with as well as my impression still stays the same that it's a rather boring at this point arcade style zombie shooter game and the sequel had much more flavor and it truly felt like it was set a little bit more into the future of VR but here it's somewhere in the middle and maybe it's just because the game was really old in its development so I would rather say it's a remaster not a remake. Either way, fans of this will definitely enjoy it. For me, I will stick with the second game. <laughs> Let's go meet some friends. Oh man. Never thought I'd miss my alarm clock. Oh, whoa. Good morning there, ugly. <clears throat> well, all right. I guess I'll uh, do the nice thing here, Fred. Locked and loaded. Guess this is it, Fred. How did I miss that? Damn. Well, hey, I'm sorry things didn't work out between us, buddy. But, uh, I'm out of here. What, what can I say? So this started in the same way as the original one did it was quite a while i played it and i'm pretty sure the content is gonna be pretty much the same so we're gonna be looking at the graphical updates and mechanics as well i think were upgraded there are those medicaments Oh wow. That looks way scarier than the sequel. Oh shit. Damn, Freddy. Got you good, didn't I? Oh well. Gotta get going, buddy. Start the day. Hey, break a leg, ugly. Oh, heavy for me to run the ring. Hello. Ooh, still got some ammunition left too. Let's stock this baby up. Yeah, all right. Time for some target practice.
Did we have a ding before? Ah, there you guys are. I was starting to get a little lonely. So what's up, dudes? You know the rules, though. Don't get too close. Oh wow, they're so slow. Hey, don't get too close. Guys, what did I just say? Don't get too close. They have holster for melee? You happy now? Didn't have to go down like this, you know. You could have sat down, had a nice cup of coffee, talked it through, but no. Well, I guess we're done here. Let's head out to that bridge I saw downstream yesterday. Interestingly, the first zombie was of such quality that this is very downgraded. <laughs> I mean, there's no threat, really. <laughs> Was that the way? I like the decapitation. Picking up stuff is not necessarily smooth. Oh, there's the bridge. Yeah, it's really not convenient. The power. It's like I need to aim my finger at it. Mate, you had half of the head. Where did I store this? With this game you have to play on the harder difficulty because it's very early days of VR that people were not as advanced in mechanics. Oh, this feels wobbly. Yeah, even the sections are the same. Okay. I really thought that they would go the easier way and transfer some textures and stuff from the sequel to here. But this is like the upgrade version of the prequel which that's what is so damn hot and freddy over here trying to get a tan hey freddy come on
the hell? It is a true remake. Works well and maybe the models are still too basic. But also keeping certain ambience to how things were before. Hey, a radio. Damn it! All right, think, think, think. I need to find another radio. I gotta get to the source of this. I think there's bigger variety in zombies though. Jesus. How? Oh. How this performs? A bit intense. No Akimbo, but maybe it's in the settings. Oh yeah, with the reloading techniques. They definitely added additional models. I'm so bloody. Look at all these cars. Looks like they all went running from a horde. Speaking of the bastards.
Ah. Still could work. They're kind of like your height now, so... Definitely much scarier. Mara is not collecting as much as I would wish it to be. Whew. I took quite a bit of ammo. Let's see if I can find some more in these safe haven at the refinery. All right. They're probably the ones broadcasting that radio signal. The protagonist is so different coming from the sequel. Maybe because the doggo really helped. <laughs> Fred once again brought all his friends. Maybe I can get around here. I like that the reloading is a bit advanced because it's not a simple like slide. You actually have to do it all the way. Oh, it even works one handed. Huh. The car belongs to the old Dutchman mom. Bet it has some useful stuff. Let's check it out. Hmm. Wait. Gotta check out that tour car first. This picking up stuff kind of bothers me. Hmm. It's locked. All right, I'm gonna need the key. It might be in the ticket office. He's busy. Old Dutchman mine, huh? Underground tours. Well, at least underground means no sun. Let's do this. Uh, hello? Anyone here? I can go from there. Oh.
I feel like I'm ending in a similar fashion than I did when I actually reviewed the first game. I was afraid it's gonna be too similar to the sequel, but it kinda stands on its own, bringing back the original experience for nowadays standards. There are definitely still things reminiscent of that time and you can kinda tell they were upgraded, but still certain things kept the same way. For example, a very similar way of picking up stuff that is kind of a struggle. Melee weapons sometimes not connecting due to the strength or not correct angles. I do like that we have more graphical variety, but also keeping the same style as before. It feels scarier. I'm not totally sure if the zombies are of a higher quality per se. So this is more for people who played the original and want a refresh of what have happened. Personally, I would still go for the sequel purely cause the ambience and dialogue story was more appealing and the dog sold the game.